Do you know what TP3 stands for? That's right. It's toilet paper three time turning point. We had the mana disaster. We had Orsted showing up. And finally, when they've teased us with part one of season two being like a slice of life rom com, a little bit of an existential crisis, fixing Rudy's dick, and having more things to kind of benefit Rudy's life, he is happier than ever before. I expect the house of cards that we built up to get pulled out from underneath and for us to feel the despair of what Mushoku Tensei turning point should be, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a fucking joke. Let's begin today's reaction. Wow, no one's socializing with friends and waves back to Onichi. <laughs> you motherfucker, if you walked away there, I would've fucking went in. Okay, good. Cause she almost did it, right? She, she almost just walked away. <laughs> come on, come on, say hi. Okay, hello, hello, I see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, we're even like studying together. The uh, Ruizer backstory with the spirits, yeah? A book to restore the reputation of the spirits. Ruizer and the spear, I don't know. Netflix special, bro. Are we going to leave out the part where he eats his own son? Norn actually showing initiation that she wants to help out with Ruger's documentary. And he, she has a lot of knowledge of Ruger and she's fond of him. Maybe this will be a little side project that, you know, Norn will take on. And this is how she becomes useful and has a dub in the show. This is how she's going to excel in a totally different field. She doesn't have to do what Rudy does. Who is the turning point? What is the turning point? <laughs> We're giving Norn too much resources. I somehow feel jealous. Head pets. <laughs> <laughs> That's the turning point. That's the turning point right there, guys. We can no longer exploit free child labor. She wants a salary. Oh, fuck. Turning point three. What are we going to do? We're never going to financially recover from this. Finally. Nah, girl like her, bro. This is a <laughs> this kind of this is specifically calculated. Nah, 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 nah. She's intentionally doing this. She already had this all figured out, bro. Onichan figured it out. <laughs> dude, I said ruthless businesswoman, dude. Even bringing Princess Ariel into this? Oh my god, she's so smart. Fuck Spice and Wolf, Horo teaching us how to fucking scam merchants, dude. Aisha is doing it even better. I should better than Hodo confirm. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nah, she here to barter. She here to negotiate and haggle. Way too competent. She is too good at this. Can I keep it, please? <laughs> Summon inorganic matter. That's the plastic water bottle we got. Number two, organic matter. And then summon an organism. It could be a plant or a small animal. And then an organism from this world according to detailed condition. An organ. Interesting. So like, not like cross worlds, but like this world. And then three, four, five. And then we got some other stuff here. Finally... Experiment with returning the summon creature to this is the biggest part, right? Returning it because it's like, okay, we can summon, but how do we send something? Because that's what Nana what she needs to do send herself back to Earth. So better than nothing. Monkey. Or 
No different person. Lamp light spirits. Japanese. She needs Rudy, man. No, Zanoba did this. Zanoba, uh, Julie and Zanoba. Yo! These figurines, the details. Let's go. How did he have such fine details done? That's huge. Giving away a figurine, right? Uh, ginger, right. Not cinnamon. This is ginger. おかげで樹里の人間語もかなり上手になってきた。学校の近くに今のようだ。ワイフ。何か。あいや。あ、なってんだ。新庄さんはどうして残念。ザノバ様の母君により直々に。ザノバ様のことを頼まれた。パーソ
No, no, no. We're getting... We're, no, 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 no. This is not turning point. No, no, no. I don't believe. We're getting baited. We're getting baited. There's got to be a twist. There's no way. Unless we really are just going to have happy Mushoku Tensei forever. I love you. Congratulations. <laughs> Please dig in. Oh my god, the music is fucking swelling up. Everything is so happy. Thank you for the happiness. Aww. Actually having kids? Tears of joy. Turning points are usually bad, but this is too good. Unless this is not the turning point. <laughs> Wait, is that head in Sophie's cheek right now? Is he gripping Sophie's cheek while he kissing? No fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no more fucking! <laughs> because she the pregnante! I shit was like, yeah, I'm tired of hearing that bullshit. Apparently in the light novel, because obviously the kids are here, we can't be making too much noise and there's no soundproofing. So he would use like earth magic to barricade his fucking room to limit the amount of noise going out. Basically, Sophie just fucking moaning. Is this gonna happen? I don't think so. There's no shot. It's that happy, right? Thank you, Norman, for the prime subscription. 20.3. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Wait, 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 wait. Letter, 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 letter. What's this letter? What's this letter? What's this letter? What's this letter? What's going on? What's going on? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Okay. Man God! Man God! Man God environment now! Okay, letter showed up. Zenith, okay, that was a short letter. Send help. That sounds like a fucking emergency rescue. Oh shit. And then he took on me. And then he took on me. And then he took on me. Says, It's been a while since we've yeah. seen you. Boy. Has he shown up after every turning point? Turning point one, mana disaster. We wake up, man god. Turning point two. Donutted by Orsted? Man God. 20.3? Letter? Man God. Yeah? So that was 20.3 then. Pretty much the letter. Oh, it's from Geese, our friend, remember? The one that went, that went up north or something? We're fucked either way. We were happy until yesterday, true. Got a child coming too. Something about the man god just speaking all, you know, funny like this always puts me off because like we can barely ever see him. I just never understood like if man god is good or bad. I don't think that anyone is really good or bad. I think there's a lot of nuances. And obviously, when Orsted heard that Rudy was an apostle of the man god, he tried to kill immediately. I don't think Orsted is evil either. I think he's a very misunderstood character. Why does he hate the man god? What is the man god's overall goal? Well, if he's a god that represents the man, then everything he's doing must mean that it's for the greater good of just mankind? Humans? I don't know. How does this all play into Rudy's suffering? Now we might have to. Don't go? He's still telling us don't go. You motherfucker! It does, but it also doesn't. Every time we take his advice, there's positives, but there's also a trade-off. So he's telling us, don't go to Begarit right now. Do not try to help dad. Don't help Zenith. If we don't do that, are they the problem going to solve itself? So it sounds like it's like a temptation. If we go, we're fucked. But if we ignore the rescue call, maybe things will just solve itself. But I don't know. I feel like I have to go if I got a letter like that. Something, bro. Give me some clues. Huh? 
I'm thinking. 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 Anything danger, maybe geese too, but like, what about our kid? What about our fucking kid? So what? Are you implying that if we go, then we may be able to save Zenith and Paul, but then Sophie and the baby dies? But if we don't go, Zenith and Paul are fucked, but Sophie and the baby lives. If that is the only outcomes that we have, we're fucked. We are fucked. Oh, I thought Sophie's coming with us. Never mind. So, Kokai was a Kyoto Motte Mosakerade. Begarito Taidikar. Dakara Ikanai Hogai. We should probably listen. I don't know. We should listen, right? Oh, finally! Next mating season? It's just one of them. <laughs> oh, Linian Persona. Uh, uh, um, I'm going with Persona. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going with Persona. Persona's. Linian's all feisty and stuff. I don't know. Persona's super cute. I think Persona and Rudy, they have some random background moments with the really cute too, with her just always trying to feed them. Basically, we're going to have a dog child. <laughs> okay, so we're already getting a concubine. Is Sophie going to be okay with this? To just stay here? Fuck the dog, girl. Get another kid. You'll be happy. Yeah. Think, don't worry about your mom and dad. Just fuck a furry. <laughs> Rudy sacrifices his parents to fuck a furry. That may be the YouTube title for this episode. And we're back! Sophie, how would you feel about uh, <laughs> having Linnea or Persona? <laughs> how about both? How about we fuck both? <laughs> One year to get to Begari. That's a long time. Nah, the human god said we'll regret it. I kind of want to heed to his warnings. Damn. That's a fucking emergency SOS letter from Geese, though. But it's like the. I, I know the letter is there. But like, the human god is a literal god. He's saying, like, you're gonna regret it if we go. Ah, uh, it's just. We gotta just go with what he says, right? I, I feel like if we go, we're really gonna fuck us up. Even if we don't go, is there someone else that we can send? Like, what's Roxy doing right now? Is there a way to contact Roxy? No, Roxy and them. No, they're all with, together with Paul and stuff. There's literally nobody right now that we could just send over. Hey, Orsted! Yeah, call Nanahoshi! Nanahoshi, call Daddy Orsted! Orsted, you remember the last time you fucked me up? You got, you owe me a favor. Go, go, go to Begari. Go, go, go save my fucking dad. Bodyguardy, that's another one, exactly. Bodyguardy, you the guys, can you go? Ruizer, fucking Ruizer already left. Too many assumptions we're making right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Grandmother. What do you think we should do? Okay, Irina Risa can go. That's another contestant, yeah. You don't have to break up with them just while you're leaving. You, you, re, re, I thought you loved them. What? What? Cliff is probably a future leader. Okay. Oh. 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 Just, you know, your first girlfriend ever. Which might be true. But like, damn. Damn. Cliff is gonna fucking go through it. Oh, 
Uh, okay, Zanobot doesn't seem to give a fuck. Okay. Uh, fair. Okay, Julie's learning more mannerisms. I feel like you should go. Oh, but you might regret it. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, Toji knows. <laughs> yeah, just go for milk. Go for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> you don't need to be there as a father, bro. <laughs> That's a wild thing to say. Objectively, you are right. The kid will grow when the father isn't watching them. But the kid will grow with the absence of the father's warmth. And they'll grow up to be something different. I mean, you're not wrong. But like, you want Rudy to just leave Sophie's kid? <laughs> just knock up Sophie and get the fuck out of here? No, 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 no. We should... Wait, knock up Linea and Persona, and then leave. Fucking triple down. Fuck it. If we're going to be a deadbeat dad, we're going to do this the right way. Not just one child, Linea and Persona kid too, and then we leave. Alright, Zanaba's going to bodyguard. Ending credits. Whenever the credits start rolling like this in the background and the anime's still playing... おお。シルフィーは一人じゃない。妹たちもいるし、俺がいなくてもきっと大丈夫。でも、俺は今やこの家の大黒柱だ。守ってやるのが夫としての父としての役目だ。ハードチョイス。やっぱり。What <笑> Wait! <laughs> Ooh, skill issue, I'm sorry, Nord. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. I am laughing at you. I can respect that. I can respect this! Even though it was a pitiful fall. She's willing to go. Save. Paul and Zenith in place of Rudy. Now, she can't do it herself, but at least she has the spirit to do such a thing. Is Norn gonna guilt trip us into going together and ignore the man god's warnings? Oh, fuck. What do we do? What do we fucking do? If Norn's gonna go, I feel like I have to go. Naked man in white that shows up in my dream and told me that I shouldn't go save him. I don't fucking know. He just tells me stuff, North. I can't tell you that though. It must seem bizarre to her, right? That Ruby's not going. This is actually 100% justified. New soundtrack? This soundtrack is really good right now. Let this moment be forever known as the moment that Norn <laughs> gave us the adventure again, right? We're finally done with bullshit fucking yapping and slice to life moments. But also, this is the moment where we override mankind, sorry, man god's warnings to basically say, fuck your parents, go fuck the other beast girls and cheat on your wife. Norn is the reason why we're going and the reason why we are going to regret in the future, but maybe this needs to be done. Norn tripping is the turning point, bro. No, I still think it's the letter. If we go by the definition of a turning point of an event that happens right before the man got showing up, I think that opening the letter and reading it is the turning point. But I'd also like to think that maybe, maybe Norn tripping and then changing Rudy's mind is also a turning point. I don't know. Back on the road. Who's coming with? And that's the episode. Damn! Today's episode... Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. I'm getting fucking goosebumps, man. We're going back into it. We're going back into adventuring Mushoku Tensei. We're going to Begarit, a continent which is apparently the second most dangerous to save our parents. Because Gi sent a letter saying, Emergency. SOS. This is harder. Holy shit. We need some backup. Who knows what's going on with Paul and Zenith. But if Gi had to send it, it doesn't sound very good, huh? 
I don't know how many people that Rudy's gonna take with them, but it's gonna be exciting to see who's gonna be in our main adventuring squad to go to Begadet. Obviously, Aiden and Arise will be there. Feels bad for Cliff, man. Some of the other things that happened in today's episode, I guess, is obviously Sophie getting knocked up. She has a baby. I guess the concubine heiress theory, I think it still stands. I think it could still happen, but Sophie having a baby, while it is a blessing, maybe it's a curse in disguise. I don't know. I just feel like... Uh, this is a liability. Something that we should be... Uh, we should be celebrating and happy. But it's also something that we could lose. And knowing turning points and stuff. I don't know. But I don't think Sylphie's coming with us. She's staying here, right? So, as Zanoba said, you can be a deadbeat dad. Kids will fucking grow up. Maybe they'll hate you, but it's fine. So maybe Sylphie and the kid will be fine. Now, next week, I know that uh, there's a bit of a hiatus, right? I guess it kind of makes sense that we just have a monumental moment like this before we get on to the next chapter of this series. I think we only have like six episodes left, right? If Mushoku Tensei is going to end on episode 24 and if this is 18, then we only have that many episodes. So we'll have a little bit of a break time. I'm sure any news and a lot of Mushoku Tensei content creators will be making their Mushoku Tensei, you know, content. So maybe we can react to those. We'll see. But that's it from me, if you're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.